Hey everyone, I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Attic. Today I'm talking about the cocktail or table arcade cabinet and later on we will take a hands-on look at my personal Nintendo cocktail cabinet, so stay tuned. Arcade games come in a wide variety of configurations. There are shooting games with a light gun as the primary input method, racing games that utilize a steering wheel, and even those terrible early VR games where you stick your head in a clunky headset, and the list goes on. The most popular arcade cabinets in my experience seem to be either upright or sit-down variation. The cocktail cabinet, however, is more compact in size than both the upright or sit-down, and has a supremely cool and old-school look. These are basically low-height, rectangular-shaped tables with the inner workings of a traditional upright cabinet inside. Usually, the game's monitor is mounted within the table, sometimes above, facing upwards, and the top of the table is covered by a thick pane of tempered glass that you can rest your drinks on. The entire experience of a cocktail cabinet is different than that of an upright cabinet. You are immersed in a much more intimate setting while congregating with drinks at a table versus standing at an upright cabinet. These tables are tough as well. The frames are usually of metal construction, that, coupled with the tempered glass tops, ensure that they can withstand the punishment and heavy use from the least sober of players. The most common cocktail cabinets are usually two-player alternating, with four-player variants being less common, with separate controls oriented on opposite sides of the longer part of the table. The monitor switches perspective to match the controlling player so as to appear right side up during gameplay. The compact footprint of these tables made them appealing for bars, eateries, and arcades alike because they minimize floor space usage. There was a Zaxxon cocktail cabinet in my local Pizza Hut that I was absolutely obsessed with while growing up in the 1990s. Unfortunately, cocktail cabinet popularity has since waned and they are typically sold for home and private use today. Back in their heyday during the golden age of arcades during the 1980s, they were typically released alongside their upright counterpart, and many prominent companies were hopping on the bandwagon. With Nintendo being one of those companies in particular, I'd like to talk a bit more about. Early examples of Nintendo cocktail arcade games are Sheriff, released in 1979, and Space Firebird, released in 1980. Nintendo also produced Versus System cocktail cabinets, commonly referred to as Red Tents. These games have two separate monitors mounted above the table itself. The early Nintendo games and Red Ten cabinets are pretty rare and somewhat expensive in North America. So today, without further ado, I want to show you guys a cocktail cabinet from my collection that while still pretty cool, is much more common and attainable for the average gamer. Let's take a look at my Popeye cocktail cabinet from my collection. Popeye was released by Nintendo of America in 1982. It is a two-player game with the alternating game style that I discussed before. It has an eight-way joystick. I replaced the first player joystick a few years back since it was pretty loose. You play as Popeye who must collect all the hearts that olive oil drops in three different levels while avoiding Bluto and other enemies. Your main weapon against Bluto are cans of spinach that appear at the beginning of each screen. You must dodge the projectiles thrown in by Bluto and the Sea Hag, as well as Bluto's punches. Overall, Popeye is a fun arcade classic that is well worth your time and quarters. It is also notable to mention that Popeye did see release on NES and is pretty affordable today. I think you guys have had enough of me gabbing away, so sit back, relax, and enjoy a quick walk around of my Popeye cocktail arcade cabinet.
I hope you enjoyed hearing about the history of the cocktail cabinet and the brief walk around of my Popeye arcade game. Thank you for watching.